All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This, of course, is another anime reaction video. Today, we're getting into some more Gintama episode 112. Still got a little bit to go before uh, <laughs> we get to that uh, 115 to 118 four episode arc. Uh, so I hope to, to by the time I get there, uh, I can at least somewhat beat the procrastination, my innate like uh, chronic procrastination. Uh, We'll call it a disability. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word for it. Uh, but uh, it's persisted throughout my entire life, even now. Hopefully, I can at least get rid of that a little bit so I can uh, make sure I get all four of those episodes in one video. Who's to say, honestly? Uh, but what I am about to say <laughs> is that I'm excited to get into this episode of Gintama. Last episode was amazing. It was a lot of fun, and it was a, had a really nice, wholesome thing that was mostly mostly uh, very quiet you know with Kagura's umbrella I really love that episode so I'm excited to see what we're gonna get in this episode episode 112 see kind of wacky comedy we're gonna get if we're gonna get a whole episode dedicated to one plot line with lots of funny jokes or if we're gonna get another two-parter I'm hoping for well actually I'm not I'm not sure what I'm hoping for it could be either could be really good honestly but without further ado let's get started with episode 112 of Gintama I so yeah Two really good wholesome episodes uh, in a row. Fuck. Hold on a second. Ah, wasn't expecting to get another su another such like wholesome sh the episode right after uh, what was uh, the second half of last episode. But I'm all here for it, especially for the fact that it was a, a an episode dedicated to Tama. That was so fun. <laughs> See, you'll know now by the time that this episode comes out. But I'm having such a like difficult time. Do I want to make this uh, about? Uh, that the title and thumbnail revolve around Katsura because of the great <laughs> gag at the beginning with Katsura trying to be, like, the main character? Or do I want to go with what the, what the heart of the episode was, and that being Tama? <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I'm leaning towards Tama because that was such a great... That was so good. But at the same time, Katsura would be pretty funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's, it's a matter of what I want to go for. Funny or wholesome? And... I can't remember what my, like, the, the very last thumbnail I did for, uh, uh, Gintama was, in fact, you know, wholesome, because it was Kagana, but what was, what was my overall, like, previous, uh, Gintama thumbnails, because if there was a trend of just wholesomeness and not very many funny stuff, then I might have to, you know, switch it up a little bit. No, the Fly High Matsuko was kind of wholesome, but also the, it, it's kind of, like, humorous, because, uh... Because it was all in <laughs> uh, Katsura's stupid head. <laughs> and then the, the 107, 108, and I don't know. I'll figure it out later. But, but, I, I, I said it during the episode, but to slightly elaborate further, and I doubt this is true, but it almost feels like this was meant to be, like, a direct, like, response to all those, like, depressing, like, future dystopian, like, uh... Machines will rise up against us for humanity's uh, mistreatment of them, like Skynet and Terminator and, uh, you know, all all those kind of things where the machines uprise against humans for their mi mistreatment. And certainly there's a lot of people that that would be considered, like, you you fuck with your your, your uh, tools too much. But, I mean, uh, to be fair, a lot of people do treat the, the things they use with a lot of respect. So I don't think that's constantly true in the fact that, like, they would kill all the humans because of the that but 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 it, again like i said it's almost it almost feels like it's meant to be like a direct <laughs> like uh no that wouldn't happen because that's what they would want even though if you think about it if they were giving sentience they probably would want rights and not be overworked but but but, but with like the, when they were talking about the screw the screw just wants to help hold things together and serve a greater purpose you know and how she, and then Tama was talking about how she wants to be a screw that holds together humanity and things like that. So really, it's one of those things, you know what I mean? It's hard to tell what was exactly they were going for, but outside of that, for what it is, this episode was amazing. Because, I, and I'm so glad they're giving Tama more screen time after uh, the arc where she was introduced, you know? Because she was, she was, the whole story, like the whole backstory re revolving around her and like her father was super interesting. But I, I, I said it before, I'll say it again. P different people like different things. So if that's how, and it's like, it's like people that, um, go to, uh, 
more like disenfranchised or like a poorer places in the world to just like make it a better place for the people there. If people just want to go out and help people and that's how they enjoy their lives, then that's how they want to enjoy their lives. Not everybody has to relax by like sitting in a big chair and like laying back, sipping on a sipping on their favorite drink, watching their favorite program, you know what I mean? <laughs> Some people just want to do things differently and that's it's perfectly fine. So and I and I think that's what that's the the, the wisdom that came with uh what Otose was saying. Is that she just wants to help people, even though I tell her, even though I want her to take breaks and relax, she just wants to keep doing that or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it was an interesting look at uh, how machines play a role in our society, kind of. You know what I mean? Ah. Oh. See, I didn't know exactly what uh, Tama was going to be doing when she stayed out late. To uh, when it when it was brought up uh, with that how how she's feeling bad for that whack a mole whack whack a mole machine breaking down, but <laughs> taking the place of the whack a mole sh machine for the kids, and presumably uh, every time we don't see her like when she's on break, just going out and playing with the kids. Oh, it's so sweet and that little smile <laughs> that she gave when she got she popped her head out and one of the kids bonked her head. Oh, it's so real. Even though she is a machine, it felt so. Real and human, you know? As weird as it's to say out loud. Um, wow. Great episode. <sighs> I'll figure I'll figure out what I want to do for the thumbnail and title later, but that's pretty much all I had to say about this episode. If you watched this all the way to this point, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so I don't miss a single upload in the future. Thank you once again for watching. Thank you once again for watching. Peace. <laughs>